History solved tonight out of London. Author J.K. Rowling, the woman who created Harry Potter, creating new magic tonight. But her fans had no idea until now. Here's ABC's Nick Schifrin. Inside this London store, the shelves bend under the books of J.K. Rowling. But Robert Galbraith? Do you know who Robert Galbraith is? I have no idea. I looked and couldn't find Galbraith's debut novel released in April. Gaiman, Gale, no Galbraith. It hadn't really um, caused a blip on the radar of large-scale sales or interest. In three months, Cuckoo's Calling sold 1,500 copies. Today, it sold 100,000. Why? Because Robert Galbraith was uncovered as the woman who sold 450 million books, has an order of the British Empire, and spawned an $8 billion franchise. J.K. Rowling wanted to write anonymously so she could know what the reviewers really thought. It's very appealing. The idea of writing um, under a pseudonym, realistically, my chances of getting away with that are incredibly remote. She did get away with writing as Galbraith until this London journalist followed the clues. Same agent, same publisher, same editor. Uh, crucially, you know, some of the same phrases, similar style of writing. Can you show me where the Harry Potter books are? And today we found lots of Rowling fans, even this 10-year-old, who now say they're Galbraith fans. Do you think that you would want to read any J.K. Rowling book? Yeah. 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 Even one about a mystery? And in the case of who the author is, mystery solved. Nick Schifrin, ABC News, London.